You can never count the San Antonio Spurs out as long as Greg Popovich is there. So, what are the San Antonio Spurs going to look like this year? Let me know down below in the comments. Are the San Antonio Spurs going to be a lottery team, middle of the pack, or are they going to make the playoffs and go for a run? So, let's talk about it. What to expect from the San Antonio Spurs this year? I'm a big DeHonte Murray guy. Did I say that, DeHonte? Someone tell me if I'm saying that correctly. Either way, Murray, one of my favorite players in the NBA. One of the youngest favorite players in the NBA. Last year, he did only average about 10 points a game, 11 points a game, 10.9. But he had 1.7 steals. Like, I swear in two years, DeHonte Murray, please tell me if I'm saying that right. I'm so scared I'm saying it wrong. Murray is going to be one of the best defensive point guards in the league. I already think he is. But I really think Murray... I really want his assist total to get up there. I want him to be the lead assister on this team. I want him to have like seven assists a game at least next year. But I really see him taking the reins of the offense this year, being the lead ball handler, using his speed, his athleticism to get inside, maybe do some step backs, pop some trays. I just see Murray being the face of the franchise with this new age Spurs. I think he fits that role way too perfectly. He's a great defender. He has a chance to be the best defensive point guard in within five years. And who's also a great scorer. A two-way player, one of the best two-way. He has a chance to be one of the best two-way players in the league. And it's all because of Greg Popovich and also the work Murray's putting in. But I really, really think that he has the chance to be one of the best. An all-pro, not an all-pro, that's an NBA, all-NBA at like third or second team and on all and the all NBA defensive team. I kind of butchered that right there. I want to keep talking about the young guys on this team because I feel like they're more important than DeMar and LaMarcus Aldridge. Even though those guys are right now the face of the team, these three guys, Murray, Derek White, Lonnie Walker, are right now the future of the team. I don't know if we'll, they'll be able to keep Derek White, but it's just still interesting because I he could sign somewhere else. But either way, the old team is DeMar DeRozan, LaMarcus Aldridge, and Patty Mills, and Rudy Gay. I think the new team is Derek White, Murray, Lonnie Walker, Kendall Johnson, Luca, Saminka, and etc. So I don't know if all those guys will stay, but obviously I think they deserve to be talked about. So we're going to talk about them. Derek White, great player. I see him more and more as a shooting guard just because he's so athletic and he's a fast guy. But he, he can't play point guard. I just... I've seen his assist total just seems like it's gone down since like other years. Like his, when he came to the league, he looked and when he played in college, he looked more like a point guard. But as time has progressed, it uh, also seems like he's grown. But he's definitely seems like he's played more shooting guard this past season. Tell me if I'm wrong, but he did seem like he played more shooting guard than in the past where he seemed like he played point guard. I could be 100% wrong, but it seemed like in his second season, he was bringing the ball up more. But if we're going to talk about Lonnie Walker, ooh, I love this cat. Lonnie Walker has the potential to be one of the best 3 and D guys in the league. He has the length. He has everything you would want from your guy. Lonnie Walker might not be their best three-point shooter. I mean, he did shoot 40%, so he is. But, like, he shot 1.7 attempts. I need that to be, like, five attempts a game, okay? You need to get up to Bryn Forbes' level of shooting. Get Like, we need him to replace Bryn Forbes' like shooting level amount of shots and keep up his defense potential yeah he only had a half a steal game but i still still think that could be one steal and a half a game just such phenomenal player the goat greg popovich just saw his assistant tim duncan step away from coaching full time and for us it might have been surprising but from inside the league it wasn't surprising everyone knew that was going to happen i honestly thought tim duncan was going to replace greg popovich but now i think greg popovich has got five years left at least at least has five years left he'll never get fired when he leaves he'll be when he retires so what will Greg Popovich do with this roster this roster is always in contending for a playoff spot if he's the coach and you know this is a defensive team and there's some older players still on there they still likes and they still gonna give minutes in his rotations which is fine Rudy Gay you know you got DeMar DeRozan and LaMarcus Aldridge those are some good players but there's young players that he knows that need to step up and commit to his scheme and be players so it's interesting to see how greg popovich will manage his rotation this year especially because he's a defensive orientated coach so i would love to see how greg pop will make sure everyone gets touches and who's going to be the lead scorer who's going to be running against the best 
point guards like who's going to be guarding the best defend pl offensive players who's their best defender this season it's going to be interesting how greg popovich signs everything can people stop hating on Demar? Demar is insane people are like Demar or rosen is wasting his time in san antonio dude this guy had, is having one of the best years of his career 5.6 assists to go with 5.5 rebounds oh i just got a hiccup or like a burp right there i steal a game 22 points okay his pr was 21 demar DeRozan is balling out in san antonio i don't care what people say i don't care what people think okay yeah his first season might as not have been as good as his second season in san antonio but in his second season in san antonio he went to being a 50 percent field goal shooter he went yet yeah, he brought one from being hitting 15% of his threes to 25% of the threes. Yeah, I know that's not a huge jump, but like still that's better. Still a great free throw shooter. Okay. And he's been putting a better emphasis on defense. Defense. I don't know why I said defense. Emphasis on defense. I kind of rhymed that. I rhyme it accidentally like I'm Chris Smooth. But yeah, no. Look, DeMar DeRozan is one of, if not my favorite players in the league, just because he's a grinder. He doesn't care if he gets the recognition. He's always gonna be doing what he has to do. Did anyone else think LaMarcus Aldridge would play this long? Dude, this guy is old as fuck and averaged 18.9 points last year. 35 years old and averaged about 19 points to the game. Yeah, he's not the rebounding guy he used to be. He's still got seven and a half boards. He's still giving a block and a half a game. And I know this will probably be another year Lamar takes a back seat. LaMarcus takes a back seat. But man, oh man, his transition to being a part of the San Antonio Spurs has been incredible. I think it was probably one of his best decisions to come here. And I'm so thankful he did. He came in 2015. He got to play with Tim Duncan. And man, I know he put up 23 and 21 in the like last year and the year before last year. But LaMarcus Aldridge, I think he'll take the become the third leading scorer. DeMar will be the first and Murray will be the second next year. And I think it'll be a really fun team to watch all in all, in my opinion. Talk about the rookies on this team Devin Vassell I thought it was Devin Vassell but it's supposedly Devin Vassell Ooh, baby I really like that they also got Cam Ren Cameron Reynolds from Milwaukee who's a young guy but they also got the best defensive point guard in this year's NBA draft with being Trey Jones oh my god Trey Jones mm, I'm so happy they got him he landed in a perfect situation to go to a team that respects defense and will let him develop in a rational pace offensively but Devin Vassell ooh, he could be a more athletic Clay Thompson this guy is gonna be a star in the league and I'm telling you a star right back star but yeah no 100% Devin Vassell is gonna Devin Vassell and Trey Jones I could see him in three years being one of the best backcourt duos in the league oh I'm just getting a little hard from thinking about that but this is the video let me hear I think they're gonna be a playoff team so let me hear down below in the video comments what do you think of this? As always, guys, I hope you guys have a great day because I know I will. Till next time, guys, peace out.